In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to claim free OG items in Fortnite Battle Royale. Epic Games is handing these free items out as free gifts. Yes, that is right. They're literally just giving them to us. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to collect these items, like what exactly you need to do. It is very simple and easy to learn how to get these OG items, and I'm going to explain everything in this video. So definitely make sure to watch this video until the end to see everything you need to know regarding how you collect these OG items in Fortnite Battle Royale. I mean, I'm talking the Royal Shield, the ACDC pickaxe, the Floss Emote, and more, so definitely make sure to watch this video until the end, because you definitely want to see all of this. Drop this video a like right now if you guys are hyped to be receiving these OG items for free. Comment down below your Epic Games username, because I'm going to be gifting some of you guys the Season 10 Battle Pass, so make sure to comment your Epic username down below, and make sure you spell it correctly. I'm also hosting a Season 10 Battle Pass giveaway. If you guys want to enter that there's a link to it in the description and also in the pinned comment down below you can enter through that link so good luck to everyone who does enter hopefully you guys do end up winning make sure to use code hey it's ben j in the item shop for all of your item shop purchases with you guys using my code it does help support future giveaways for v bucks and battle passes so thank you to everyone who is using my code and one last thing make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel with notifications on for all of the newest fortnite leaks updates news and more i'm on the road to 80,000 subs, so I'd greatly appreciate it if you guys go down and subscribe right now. So right now, I'm going to explain the backstory on why Fortnite is giving us these free OG items, and then I'm going to show you guys all of the items that we could potentially be receiving in the very near future. Also, if you guys keep watching this video until the end, I have something very exciting to show you guys at the end of this video that could allow for OG items to return to the item shop. I'm talking the Renegade Raider and other OG skins as well, such as like the Gold Trooper and all that kind of stuff. So make sure to watch this video until the end to see that. But anyway, I'm gonna first explain why Fortnite is giving us these OG items for free, and then I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to get these and like what you need to do. So at the start of Season X, Fortnite added the locker feature inside Save the World. Now this was very big news for Save the World players because they were never given a locker to pick their own emotes or pick their own music packs or anything like that. Like they never had a locker until now. And to celebrate Fortnite, Finally adding the locker feature for Save the World players, they decided to give them the Ride the Pony emote, which for those of you who don't know what the Ride the Pony emote is, it's actually a very rare emote that was in the Season 2 Battle Pass at Tier 20. And as you guys know, Season 2 of Fortnite, a lot of people didn't play at the time. I mean, it wasn't at the peak of the game, obviously. I mean, Season 2 was pretty early on in the game's life. And on top of that, you also had to have the Battle Pass and make it to Tier 20. So the Ride the Pony emote is a very rare emote emote very few people have it however save the world players got the ride the pony emote for free without doing anything without unlocking anything they literally just got it for free every single save the world owner received this emote and to compensate for battle royale players we actually received the pony up emote which is a variant of the ride the pony emote it's basically like the same thing except now you just whip out like this pony on a stick and the music behind it is a little bit remixed but other than that it's pretty much the same emote now according to fortnite leakers and other news sources as well apparently in order to get the pony up emote you needed to own the season 2 battle pass and have the ride the pony emote however i didn't own any of that i didn't own the ride the pony emote nor did i have the season 2 battle pass and i still received the emote which is kind of weird so maybe if you just play during season 2 you got the emote i'm not sure regardless what's important about this is that fortnite gave out this og emote in a different variant and it was very cool for all battle royale players because they literally just received a free emote for doing practically nothing and according to fortnite leakers and data miners we are going to be receiving more og items like this in the future of season x which means that battle royale players are going to be receiving more variants to these og items that were in the season 2 and the season 3 battle pass way back in the day back when fortnite was not as popular and back when the season 2 and the season 3 battle pass were available so that means we could be seeing items given to us such as the royal shield which was a very og item that belonged to the black knight in the season 2 battle pass and if you guys didn't know, the Black Knight could be unlocked once you reach tier 70, which was the max tier at the time. And with the Black Knight, you got the Royal Shield back bling. So this back bling is very rare. And it is possible that we're going to be receiving this back bling for free in a different style, or it's going to look almost the same. Another item that I had in mind is the AC DC pickaxe, which was also, I believe, a season two pickaxe. Another very rare pickaxe that very few Fortnite players have. And honestly, it's a very cool pickaxe. And I think it's some sort of variant of this 
would be very cool to have. I mean, just to get it for free regardless would be cool. But also to have the pickaxe replicated with the ACDC pickaxe, that would be so cool. Moving on to emotes, some emotes that we could be getting for free is the floss emote. Now, this was also a pretty rare emote in the Season 2 Battle Pass once again. I'm very positive Fortnite is going to be giving us the floss emote, if not like a different variant of the floss emote. Just because of how popular the floss emote really is, I mean, some people refer to this as the Fortnite emote. And they also put out two other versions of the floss emote as well in the item shop. They put out the one where you're only doing it with one hand. I forget what that one was called, but that was one. And then they also put out the windmill floss recently, which was basically like the floss, except you like go around and like, you, you know what it is. So I'm more than confident Fortnite is going to be giving us a free version of this just to compensate for us if they end up giving the floss emote for free to save the world players. And another emote that I had in mind that would be very cool to unlock is the worm emote. This is another very rare OG emote that very few battle royale players own. Once again, another season two battle pass item that I'm pretty sure you had to get pretty high in the tiers list to get. I honestly forget what exact tier it was, but this was a very, very prestigious item to own. So if Fortnite ends up giving save the world players the worm emote for free, definitely expect battle royale players to be receiving a variant of the worm emote too. Now for those of you who want to get the exact OG rare items that were released back in season two and season three in the item shop, don't worry, I have something for you guys right now. Make sure you guys keep watching because this is actually like big. This is really big. This new item shop feature could potentially be bringing back some very old OG season two and season three items that were released in the item shop. I mean, I'm talking the Renegade Raider, the Ghoul Trooper, and more. And basically what this new item shop feature is, is it allows us to pick what is going to be in the item shop. Now, as you can see, this line of coding was leaked from the in-game files, which says pick the item to return to the shop. Now, this is basically text for what it's going to be like in game when this feature gets added. That's going to be like a little thing at the bottom or whatever. Basically, what this feature is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to pick whatever we want to be in the item shop. So that means we could potentially be allowed to pick OG items like once again, the Renegade Raider and the Ghoul Trooper and more, which obviously this would be very big for the Fortnite community because so few players have these items and only players who play during season two and season one and season three had access to buying these items that were in the item shop. So this is very big for all the recent players who want these old items that never got the chance to buy them. This new feature being added to the item shop very soon will allow players to pick what they want to be in the item shop, which is big. This feature is going to be added sometime through season X. We're not sure the exact date for when it's going to be added. However, it is confirmed to be added during season X. So for all of you who want to own these OG items and want to get their hands on buying these OG items, this is going to be the way to do it. The new item shop voting feature being added down the road in season X. It's going to be big. Honestly, I can't wait to see how it looks in game. I can't wait to see like what kind of items we could pick to return. If we could pick any item to return, like out of all of the items in Fortnite Battle Royale item shop history, that would be absolutely insane. We'd get an item shop just full of OG items. Just picture that. Like that would be insane. And yeah, that's been it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.